What's up guys, this is going to be a tutorial for the Z Flip 4. I am going to be showing you how to increase the brightness from this screen right here. Alright, so the first thing you gotta do is touch your lock button, slide down, swipe left, and uh, press that button, the sun button, and it pulls up your brightness bar. Alright, that's how you change your brightness from uh, from the lock screen of your just Z Flip, Z Flip 4. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hi guys, this is a tutorial for the Z Flip 4. I'm going to teach you guys how to access the camera on this screen. All you have to do is push the power button, lock button twice very fast. There it is. Um, it's on photo right now. If you swipe to the side, it goes to video. And uh, you can touch anywhere on the screen to start recording. So that's how you do that. Uh -oh. You can switch between portrait and landscape by swiping. That's good to know. I did not know that. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Hi guys, this is going to be a tutorial for the Samsung Z Flip 4. I'm going to teach you how to get steps to work on the front of your screen. So you're going to press the lock button and you're going to swipe to the side and it's going to be all light. It's going to have a little shoe on it and be like you want to do steps and then you click on it maybe it takes you to the samsung health app maybe it doesn't that's where you need to go you need to go to the samsung health app uh, and you need to just go through the things it tells you to go through uh, once you get to the home page you can close your phone again and um and when you go back it will show you the um We'll show you steps and if you there we go um, if you shake it just right it'll count steps so. anyways that's how you set up the step counter on uh, your Samsung Z flip 4 thank you for watching Hey guys, this is going to be a tutorial for the Samsung Z Flip 4. I'm going to teach you how to get games on your cover screen. Uh, it's really pretty simple. Uh, you have to download an app. Uh, <clears throat> there are two of them. If you look up cover screen widgets in your app store, uh, you'll see something called cover screen OS, and that's good. Um, and then there's Samsung Tool UI or 2UI. Um, I would use Cover Screen OS. They're both pretty glitchy, but that one's a little bit less glitchy. Um, they're made for the Z Flip 3, so that's why they don't work that good. Um, Cover Screen OS does ask for quite a few permissions, and enabling them is a little complicated. Um, thinking about making a video just for that, uh, cause it, it does, do, it has a tutorial, it tells you how to enable the permissions, so, um, but yeah, so if you install Cover Screen OS and go through all the things in the actual app, uh, when you come back to here, it will look a little different, and, but only slightly and then when you swipe down it'll look way different and if you swipe this way it'll look way different and if you swipe this way it shows you all your apps um i ended up deciding that i didn't like the widgets like it wouldn't let you do it wouldn't look let you look at your weather anymore and the way that it lets you play music was weird like i like the built-in music player better why I deleted that app. But 
that's how that's how you do it so thanks for watching